What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be checking out this pencil hook from Kurt. It's going to be a good way to hook up to your Lynette Ring trailer and be able to transport that. I suggest looking at this one if you only have one trailer, your one truck, you know exactly what height you need because this isn't going to be adjustable. But that's a good thing if you only have that same truck, that same trailer, you can pull this right up to it, lower it down on there and get on the way. Let's check it out. First things first, this is going to be made for two and a half inch hitches. So make sure you have that style of hitch if you're gonna go ahead and get this pencil hook. Now there's different ones out there for different size hitches, so make sure you check our website and get the right one. Let's check out how it works. So we're gonna just pull this pin, we're ready to set up our trailer. We packed it up to where the lunette ring would be. You have to push on this lever with your thumb to raise this part up. I'll show you it doesn't lift up on its own. So you have to pull that pin, push that lever to get this ready to go. Then you'd back it up to your lunette ring trailer lower the ring down over this so this will go in the center then you push this back down the ring would still be here and it's going to keep it from popping up when it's chucking or anything you see that this cap isn't going to let it pop up there definitely make sure you always put your pin back in once it's hooked up to your trailer and it would also recommend maybe getting a locking pin too that way it's something you can lock up and it can't be messed with when you're not around now something to think about if you haul multiple different trailers is maybe a adjustable pencil hook so that's gonna be able to be moved up and down for different heights of different trailers, not to mention your trucks too. So that is an option that's out there. If you have a bunch of different trailers, I would go that way. That way you can adjust it. You don't have to pull this out, get a different one. It's just, I don't wanna half sole with any of that. Now, along with the adjustable ones, there are ones that have the built-in ball. So it works as a pencil hook and a ball mount. That's the one I like the best, just cause that way I don't ever really have to pull this out and switch out with anything and stay in the hitch at all times. I can adjust it where I need it. I can use it for each, either one of the trailers I wanna pull that day. As far as those different styles go, I usually come back to the Kurt ones. I just really like how those work. They have a bunch of different features that I didn't even think about before I started messing with them. So with all the different pencil hooks we've done, with that combination of the ball mount pencil hook I really like, even one of them has a backing on it so that when you back up to the trailer, the lunette ring will hit that and you'll feel it and, or see it in your backup camera. That way you just have a visual of, oh, it's hit there. You lower the trailer down onto that ball. Then as you lower it, this part is actually flipped up and it'll hit that, flip it down. It does so much things for you that you don't have to do and come out here and mess with. I really like those features. I would not have thought of them if I hadn't got to mess with all those. So those are just recommendations for you to check out if you're interested in those features too. Adjustable pinnel hooks aside, this is gonna have a gross towing weight of 20,000 pounds. Now, if you think you need a little bit more than that, there's a Brophy one that's almost identical to this, except it has a higher weight rating, and that's gonna be 36,000 pounds. Now, this is gonna work with lunette rings with a minimum inner diameter of two and a half inches, so just keep that in mind with what kind of trailer with the lunette ring you're gonna use it with. Now, the construction is gonna be a black powder coat steel, so you don't have to worry about it rusting or corroding if you left it on the back of your hitch it's going to be resistance to that so whether you leave it on here all the time or you take it off and throw in the back of your truck it's going to be just fine otherwise i think it's going to work great it's kind of a simple pencil hook but if you only have one trailer you're not worried about having it adjustable you're not worried about different heights and stuff like that this is going to do exactly what you need it to do it's going to be hook up your trailer and get on the road well thanks for hanging out and i hope this helped